we start with daily chart just i want to give a quick update and as we can see based on daily after we get this sharp move that's mean this move then we are within this correction and the one thing we need to highlight here that with if we refer to the indicators we see we have a divergence right this is where we need to be quite careful because if we have a die, I mean, if we want to follow the indicators, there is a possibility this one turn to a drop similar to what we have here, and this one turn to a correction relative to this move. All right. And mostly we consider this one as a first flat flowing by next one, because this one internally has a one, two, three. All right. And even if you want to expect to get one more drop, internally we get three wave. This is what we can see from the chart at this point. All right, it doesn't mean the price have to drop. This is that's mean if you want to look for buy, if we want to look for buy, we need to be aware of this because of the divergence. And if I move to forward chart, all right, and simply right now we're looking at this one. We mentioned the three wave in relative to this. And if this is the one is going to be in relative to this, how deep it can be, all right. Either we put this one in relative to this or in relative to this. That's mean this one can tend to internal running flat for one more anyway we cannot we confirm which option but the only thing is how deep this one can go if the, there is a breakout of 41 the next level we can look for is 39.4 following by 37.8 if the price couldn't break this zone at i mean maximum is at 37.8 then we consider this one as a flat for one more but if there is a continuation with the breakout of the 37.8 then we can expect this one turn to a bigger flat. All right. Now, how deep it can go? This is the levels we can look for. That's mean if we see the price couldn't break any of this level, any reversal as a sharp move flag, we will take the trade. And if we get any opportunity for buy, based on this move at the 27%, as a first target will be 48.6, following by 51.8. Right. This is the only thing. This, I mean, this target is in relative to this move. Anyway, and if the, the only thing is if we get any reversal as a sharp move flag, we will take the trade. Maybe it's better we move to four one hour chart, it will be more clear. And this is what we're looking for. Any reversal as a sharp move flag, we will take the trade and we will look at this 48.6 as a first target following by 51.8. And if there is a continuation, then this is the levels I'm looking for. Anyway, at this point, this is what I'm looking for. If I see any changes or any update, I will share. And how about if I move to forward chart? Do we have any divergence? Yes, we see we have a divergence. It's losing the momentum and as well here. That's why we need to really care about these levels. If there is a breakout of this level, then we need to know how deep this can go. Maybe this is the one in relative to this. I don't want to say this one. We are. I don't want to say we are going to get this big correction. I want to see that if he wants to look for next trade, we need to be quite careful. And I'm more interested to see, to put this move in relative to this. That's mean I get this flat as a one, two, three, four, one move up. Then from there, we get the DP correction for continuation. All right. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.